The term lineage is commonly found when discussing Himalayan Tibetan paintings, especially when it comes to religious art of the Buddhist and Bun tradition. So lineage ha has a number of, of different meanings. Uh, first of all, it's the overall definition. Uh, the, the definition actually can change. I mean, there, there's, uh, there's three words that are commonly used, uh, lineage, uh, school, and tradition. There's also three general types of lineage. They're uh, teaching uh, and initiation lineage. There's, there's also a administrative, institutional, or family corporation lineage. And then there's incarnation lineage. So we have, we have those uh, specific types. Then, of course, we have the, the three main Buddhist traditions and lineages, which are the, what's called in Tibetan Buddhism, Hinayana, uh, then the Mahayana and the Vajrayana. So lineage is really only applied to uh, historical figures. And it has to do with the idea that authoritative uh, teachings uh, be it Mahayana or Vajrayana, or even the, the Vinaya, the monastic code coming down from the Hinayana, Theravadan, Sarvastivadin tradition. Uh, it must be legitimate, and you legitimize it by having a string, a series of human teachers that have passed the teaching one to another. So this is really what lineage is about. Um, for the administrative institutional family corporation lineage that is more related to what is the authority within a certain monastic complex or the authority within a a, a family dynasty like kings or princes or even a family dynasty of nyingma uh, religious uh, uh, tertans of treasure revealers where it's a father son father, nephew, uh, it's a family lineage. Uh, then the, the third is really the, what has become more popular in the last uh, three, four hundred years, which is the incarnation lineage. The Tibetan word tulku is used. And so, we, you know, the main ones are the Dalai Lama, the Pension Lama, uh, the Karmapa, um, and then, then there's many, many others after that. Um, and, and then what you're doing is is you're depicting these in a in a painted composition and these painted compositions usually have a, a central figure the central figure can be a, just a, a plain uh, buddha buddha shakyamuni or it could be a historical person uh, who is a, a, an actual teacher and then the lineage is depicted in various ways surrounding the central figure in a mural or in a scroll work painting and and so lineage is a, is a very big topic and then and then there are four different ways that the lineage is depicted in um, in traditional uh, scroll work paintings